In this video, we are going to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of matrix A. Matrix A has entries 6, 3, 6 and minus 1. Our goal is to solve for the values of lambda that satisfy the equation that the determinant of A minus lambda multiplied by the identity matrix equals 0. For this, we first need to find lambda multiplied by the identity matrix. This gives us the matrix you can see on your screen, with lambdas on the main diagonal and zeros everywhere else. The next step is to find a minus lambda i. This gives us the matrix with entry 6 minus lambda, 3, 6 and minus 1 minus lambda. Now we have to find the determinant of the matrix a minus lambda i, and this determinant has to equal 0. As you already know, we can calculate the determinant of a 2 times 2 matrix by multiplying the entries on the main diagonal and subtracting the multiplication of the entries on the off diagonal. In this case we get 6 minus lambda times minus 1 minus lambda minus 6 times 3. This has to equal 0. We can simplify this. 6 times minus 1 is minus 6. 6 times minus lambda is minus 6 lambda. Minus lambda times minus 1 is lambda. Minus lambda times minus lambda is lambda squared. 6 times 3 is 18. We can again simplify this to lambda squared minus 5 lambda minus 24. And this has to equal 0. This means that lambda minus 8 is 0 or that lambda plus 3 is 0. For this reason, lambda equals 8 or lambda equals minus 3. 8 and minus 3 are our eigenvalues. We can use these eigenvalues to calculate the eigenvectors. We will start by using the eigenvalue lambda equals 8. Remember that a minus lambda i gave us the matrix with entry 6 minus lambda, 3, 6 and minus 1 minus lambda. We will now start substituting our eigenvalue of 8 for the lambdas. This gives us the matrix with entry 6 minus 8, 3, 6 and minus 1 minus 8. When we calculate this we find the matrix with entries minus 2, 3, 6 and minus 9. Let's call this matrix B. We now have to solve B multiplied by the factor X equals the factor of 0. We show this on your screen now. So matrix B multiplied by the factor of X consisting of X1 and X2 equals the 0 factor. The next step is row reduction. You can see the entries of matrix B and the solutions of 0. When we multiply row 1 by 3 and add this to row 2, we find a new row 2. The new row 2 is consisting of zeros only. When we multiply minus 2 by x1 and 3 by x2, we find that minus 2x1 plus 3x2 equals 0. This means that 3x2 equals 2x1. We can now choose any value for either x1 or x2. In this case, we will say that x2 equals 1. This means that x1 has to be 1.5. This gives us the eigenvector of 1.5 and 1. We have filled in 1.5 for x1 and 1 for x2. We can do the same thing for our other eigenvalue. This is the eigenvalue of minus 3. Let me show you the calculation for the corresponding eigenvector. Again, we start by remembering that a minus lambda i gave us the matrix with entry 6 minus lambda, 3, 6 and minus 1 minus lambda. We will now start substituting our eigenvalue of minus 3 for the lambdas. This gives us the matrix with entry 6 minus minus 3, 3, 6 and minus 1 minus minus 3. When we calculate this, we find the matrix with entries 9, 3, 6 and 2. Let's call this matrix C. We now have to solve C multiplied by the factor of X equals the factor of 0. We show this on your screen now. So matrix C multiplied by the factor of X consisting of X1 and X2 equals the 0 factor. The next step is row reduction. You can see the entries of matrix C and the solutions of 0. When we multiply row 2 by minus 1.5 and add this to row 1, we find a new row 1. The new row 1 is consisting of zeros only now. When we multiply 6 by x1 and 2 by x2, we find that 6x1 plus 2x2 equals 0. This means that 2x2 equals minus 6x1. We can simplify this as x2 equals minus 3x1. We can now choose any value for either x1 or x2. In this case we will say that x1 equals 1. This means that x2 has to be minus 3. This gives us the eigenvector of 1 and minus 3. We have filled in 1 for x1 and minus 3 for x2. So, what conclusion can we draw from this? When we use the eigenvalue of 8, we find the eigenvector consisting of entries 1.5 and 1. When we use the eigenvalue of minus 3, we find the eigenvector consisting of entries 1 and minus 3. That brings us to the end of the video. This video took me a lot of time and effort to make. If you learned something today, it would be really appreciated if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you in another video on this channel.